I'm at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff and I gotta go check in. Temporary parking is over here. And I gotta go to that white tent over there to check in. I got my media pack and now I gotta go set up my tent. So when you come to the uh, Overland Expo, one of the cool things about going to this expo is that everybody camps. You go to the show and then you camp. You got ground tents, rooftop tents, campers, you got RVs, you got everything. Really cool. I am rocking the Napier Outdoors vehicle tent. This thing is awesome. It's huge. It's like a, a little apartment. You could fit your whole family in here and some friends. All right, so it's dinner time. I've got my Nightcore TM28. Giving me some light over the stove. If you got some spam with some Simon. So you uh, just take this little dirt trail and walk to the expo. Sleep over here and then walk to the expo. So let's go check out the Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. Look at this thing. I don't even know what this is, but it's from Vacaville, California. I used to live there. That is cool, man. Maybe it was an old firefighting vehicle from Europe or something. I don't know. It says Iveco. Iveco Megaris. That thing is badass, man. Look at that thing. All kinds of LEDs. Got a big old bumper. I don't even know who makes it. Probably all custom. Got a winch. Four LED light bars, man. That's a lot of light. Of course, I had to stop by the Overland Explorer booth and introduce yourself to the world. Tell everybody hey who guys, you are. Uh, my name is Arnold. I'm one of the owners of Overland Explorer out of Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. So let's go ahead and just jump right sure. into the awesome products that you guys got. Sure, we'll start, we'll start at the back. So uh, all of our designs, whether it be the trailer, a flatbed camper, a sprinter, a fixed cabin that's going on any kind of chassis you can dream up. Uh, we all start with uh, composite materials. We like, we love composites. So all of our walls, our floors, our ceilings, roofs, all composite. Inside, all the cabinetry, aluminum, powder coated aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. So you did that for weight savings mostly, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Weight savings and longevity. We want everything to last. Because the wood would degrade, but this will never degrade. Exactly. You're going to be getting bounced around. We've got a prototype down in Moab, down at Twisted Jeeps. Uh, it's been getting tested there for the last several months, and it is getting bounced. It's a, it's a rented mule. This thing is getting beat <laughs> on, and I've seen the wheels off the ground. Look at this badass Jeep. This is by AOE4x4.com. This is nice, man. Not too overdone. And then he's got this badass trailer back here. Look at this thing. That is cool, man. It's got like an aluminum roof that just pops open real quick with a canvas side. Got your propane in there. There's your refrigerator. Hot water on demand. Flat fenders. Just enough for two people. And you got your storage in the bottom. Put all your gear down there. Hard top slash soft tent. There, I got another awning over here. More storage with a little work surface. Two burner stove. Got everything you need on this thing. Solar panels, too. I like it. Check it out. I got some subscribers here. <laughs> Tell everybody who you guys are. Mike Kappa from Tucson. Right on. Blaine Ferguson, Tucson. Victor Kappa from Arizona Phoenix. Oh, so you guys are local pretty yeah, much yeah. then. You guys didn't have to go very far. No. Well, it's not that bad. Yeah. So we were talking off camera. What's your favorite vehicle? Mine, for me, it's a Jeep. Je oh, you're a Jeep, a Jeep guy. guy yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, Overland Expo, 
awesome. Insane. Yeah, it's your first time you were first saying? Time, yeah, first time. Insane, uh, right? Subscribe to Mixed Flips the videos. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. So, what about yours? What was your favorite one? Uh, probably that one. We, yeah, we were all just <laughs> drooling over that thing right there. I did a full-on video review of that one. Not a review, an interview. So look for that when I post that sucker up. You're going to love it. What about yours? Uh, I'm going to go with the Earth Roamer. $400,000. Baller, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I do the videos for guys like you. Yep. Obviously, you guys watch the gun videos too. That's oh, yeah, awesome. Yep, yep. The, the next big show for me, I think, is going to be SEMA. Okay. Well, so we'll stay tuned too. for the SEMA videos. Awesome. This booth caught my eye because they're from Las Vegas and I'm from Las Vegas. Introduce yourself to the world, Hi, sir. My name is Milan. We are from uh, Las Vegas, Ragged Teardrops. We are renting uh, uh, teardrop trailers uh, for any duration time you want uh, our rates are pretty reasonable you can check our website here is the one of the two trailers so let's, let's kind of show the guys what you yeah. offer in a trailer this is a, a mid-size off-road trailer there is the uh, kind of kitchen galley we include with the rental the, the stove uh, chair chair the chair tables uh, propane tank some basic uh, coolers for the food and then cooler. This is the hiker trailer uh, built in Colorado, so it comes with the mattress, folding oh, mattress. Oh, I've heard of hikers, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it comes with the box. Introduce hey, yourself man, to the up? world. Uh, this is uh, I'm tour, uh, Eric Couture Rig, and we're a little uh, van customizer, if you will, out of Golden, Colorado, and we specialize in the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter and Metris chassis. And a couple of our products are, um, we do full custom adventure vans, like you see in these two rigs here. Cool. as well as uh, work with a company called Terra Camper out of Germany to offer a modular system that fits into both a Metris and Sprinter chassis. Yeah, like so check this out. This Your fridge oh, that's so cool. can come out for tailgating or it can slide through and come out that side for when you're in the van. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, uh, we have a two-part table. This flips over. Here's your stove. Once again, you can cook here, you can take it out. It's cool. A sink. <laughs> this can that. be used inside or in the case here. If you're at the beach, you can shower off right here. It's a really man. nice that outside so shower. Cool. Wow, look at all that space. Look at all this room. Tons of room in here. For such a small vehicle, this thing's got tons of space. Look what caught my eye. OregonTrailer.net. I've seen these guys' YouTube channel, and uh, the brothers are out here in force with all their gear. Introduce yourself to the world. I'm John, uh, John Christensen. Uh, Sawyer's over here talking to some, some nice folks. Um, and we're Oregon Trailer. So we've got uh, three models currently, starting with uh, Dewdrop, their smallest, simplest model. And it's designed to be towed by anything that can tow. This one we're calling Dewdrop Alpha. It's kind of a prototype model. The shape and all of the systems here have been done before, but never put together in this way. Perfectly waterproof. No trim necessary, um, much simplified, and, and really minimalist. So, how much would something like this ballpark go for? The base package version of this, this is very much not the base package, <laughs> but the base version of this is about 5,500 bucks. So oh, that's not bad. Not about, it is 5,500 bucks. Yeah. You don't have to go this far, or you could go even farther. It's one of those things. We try and really um, interview the client yeah. and find what's going to be right for them. You know, it's a, there's a happy medium somewhere for almost everybody. This rooftop tent caught my eye, and Lee here is going to tell you all about it. Go for it, man. Introduce yourself. My name is Lee Hoffman, and I uh, purchased this tent through Kickstarter. Uh, it's the iCamper Sky Camp. Uh, brand new uh, tent model that just came out. They've done a few other ones in South Korea, but this is the first I think they brought over to the U.S. So what sets this apart from all the other rooftop tents out there? Yeah, so. The reason I was interested and the reason I, I am here today and that I bought this tent was uh, I have a family of four. And Me too. There are very few tents that are hard shells mm -hmm. that allow you to fit all four of you into the same tent. And here's the beautiful part about this tent right here. It's got this hard shell in the on the side here. So you're getting, it's like a hybrid, like hard shell and soft. Correct. Introduce yourself to the world, both of you guys. What's up guys, I'm Casey Deming. I'm the owner of Griffin Pocket Tool. Paul Robinson. It's my, my buddy and helper, Paul. All right, so when I first met you, I said I saw this before on Instagram. Now we get to see it in person. 
What do you got and what's going on here? Awesome, man. Um, so basically, uh, so the Griffin Barker tool started on Kickstarter about three years ago. Uh, started with the original tool. Um, so basically, you have 12 different tools on this size right here. Uh, so starting from the top, you have a flathead screwdriver uh, with a prying tool. Then you have four different wrenches inside of the pocket clip. Uh, those wrenches start at seven millimeter and go down to four. And then you have a bottle opener, which also acts as a bit driver. So you can use a quarter inch bit, slide it right in there. And so if you've got a Phillips head screw you need to loosen or tighten, mm -hmm. it's perfect for that. Um, so that is where your keys go right there. And that's a 5 right inch here. head. Yep. And, uh, and then you have a scoring tool on the back. This caught my eye. Check this out. They have these folding collapsible kayaks. There's another one over here. And it folds up into about a three foot by three foot package that will fit in the back of any vehicle and only takes about five minutes to assemble and this is like a corrugated polymer basically and and if you're wondering about the folds these folds are rated to be opened and closed 60,000 times before they start having any kind of failure. Introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you got here. Hey, I'm Wayne Mitchell with Where the Road Ends Moto, and uh, we're getting ready to take motorcycles from Dead Horse, Alaska to Argentina this winter. We're going to be traveling through the Darien Gap. is a 100-mile stretch of jungle between Panama and Colombia where there are no roads, no bridges, um, just kind of a single-track trail. Um, we're all retired. We've got a team of four retired Army uh, paratroopers and a film crew of three uh, members of the 982nd Combat Camera Company that are going to be going with us, still photographers and videographers. Um, the whole expedition is going to take about five months and uh, God willing we're going to produce a feature length documentary of the whole thing. So. Yeah, so the, the um, sidecar essentially works as an outrigger would on a canoe. It gives us some stability on the ice and snow. This is obviously a Kawasaki, right? Yep, it's a KLR 650 2017 model. Um, it's carbureted, so it's easy to work on. If you dunk it in the water, it's uh, you know easier to recover than, um, than some of the other bikes that are on the market. The great thing about Kawasaki and the KLR is that it's got a long military history. Yeah, that's um, right. The Marines used to use it, right? Yep, the Marines yeah. use it. The Army uses it. Um, oh, the Army too, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, Special Forces guys still use Kawasaki's. Didn't they uh, have a diesel like a version too at one time? Yeah, the Marines uh, have a multi fuel version, the diesel yeah. version. That's cool. So you guys are using something that you're somewhat familiar with already. I got Carson here. He's going to tell you all about their products. Go for it. Hi, I'm Carson with Kuberg Electric Bikes. These are a range from little tiniest, you know, three year old all the way up to adults. It tops out. 37 miles an hour. It only weighs 84 pounds, so it's light enough to put on a bike rack. That is and cool. Its range is about, I was trying to wear it down, so worst case scenario, top speed, I'm 195 pounds, I got 17 miles or 45 minutes. So if you stayed in the 20 mile an hour range, you can get a lot, lot more life out of it. I think he's got some torque. Whoa! <laughs> that thing has got some power, man. Yeah, it's fun. Some torque on there. You can probably do wheelies easy on this thing. Right? This panel caught my eye because this brochure caught my eye, but I'm gonna let Werner here tell you all about what he's got here. Go for it, man. Introduce oh, yeah. yourself to the world. My name is Werner. Um, I'm from Switzerland. I work for Flexopower. Uh, I've been manufacturer solar energy solutions for um, defense and overlanding. We differentiate ourselves from traditional glass panels. Ours don't have glass. They don't break or lightweight. You can even shoot through them. Yeah, I saw this when I walked by that it actually has a, a puncture on there. Yeah. So talk about that. So guys normally know these things as being glass, right, normally? So yeah, the traditional glass panels are glass, they break and they have an aluminum frame that's difficult to maneuver mm -hmm. and to package. They fold up to something like this. That's a 79 watt mil spec solar panel. So this whole thing is super compact into that little tiny package Correct. right there. Very nice. Now what this means is they are suitable for harsh environments. So whether you're in the battlefield or overlanding, if you can throw quite a few things at that product, it, can, it produces, uh, it'll take it, it, it'll continue to produce power. We supply to the 
the South African army, the Botswana army, and the Namibian army. You may not know where they are, but yeah. it doesn't really matter. They are they have first world um, um, evaluation pr uh, processes in place as well, and they chose FlexiPower. And this Tacoma caught my eye because it has all kinds of cool products on it. Graham here is going to tell you all about what they got here. Hi, I'm Graham from Hinterland Industries and Hightents.com. We manufacture these rooftop tents and awnings, as well as provide a variety of overland supply equipment. Uh, we can also handle suspensions and installs. And our tents are built to the extreme. We're a 400 gram ripstop insulated canvas, heaviest in North America. Let's see. So this has a little annex, which is really cool. You can come in here like this and get out of the, out of the weather change your clothes maybe even have a porta potty in here and then sleeping for two maybe even three right at the top here that's nice so partner steel made in idaho pretty much the best stove you can get they look like they're built to survive combat i mean they're really heavy duty so they will take <laughs> abuse but the controls you have mm -hmm. Once you leave your house and say you've got a Viking or Wolf high-end range, you can mm. simmer and cook like you're at home in that kitchen on oh, these wow. stoves because you have that finite control. Nice. And a 10,000 BTU burner when you just want to get that water boil and get going. What, what is that there I'm looking this at? This is an oven made by Camp Chef. It's uh, old two 13 by 9 pans and you've got two burners up top. <laughs> stock form runs off a one pound spin on you can convert it to run off a larger bottle check this out so they got a, a hammock that you can hook up right to the back of your vehicle if you don't have any trees you could just unfold these outrigger things they just kind of bolt in and you can set your hammock anywhere you want as long as you have a, a hitch on the back of your vehicle that is cool I got Mark and Bob right tell the guys who you guys are Hi, we're with uh, Campfire Defender. It's a brand new uh, cover that covers a campfire. It's the first time ever invented. So what this material is, uh, it's woven pure glass. And then what we've done, we, we've coated it with a high temperature uh, silicone polymer. And when we did that, it turned it into a, a, a fantastic heat reflector. So, uh, so if you're out camping and it's time to go to bed at the end of the night, you can uh, quickly cover your campfire. Even when it's burning, your flames could be this high. You can quickly go right over the top. You can set the vents and, and, and allow your uh, embers to keep slowly burning all night long to allow you to wake up with hot coals, That's nice. uh, which is awesome. Uh, if you're out camping and a windstorm kicks up or a rainstorm yeah. and you've got your fire burning, Instead of letting your embers fly all across the forest or have the rain, you know, fill up your fire pit, again, your flames can be this high. You can cover the cover, the rain will beat off it or the wind will go right over it. When the storm's over, come back, lift it off, your fire will come back to life. All right, so you, or you could throw some more logs on and it. And you could throw some more logs yeah. on it. So the really <laughs> cool thing it is, it's extremely durable. Yeah. Uh, right now we've tested, we've got one cover with 104 fires on it and uh, there's no breakdown. Uh, so I'm not quite sure when this cover is gonna break down. So uh, it's real durable. It's the first time ever invented. Yeah. Uh, and it's real exciting. Uh, it's, it, it really gives people options and it's a great fire safety product. That's cool. And, and Bob was saying earlier, once you try it, you'll never go back. So here's what we have. We have two different sizes of the Campfire Defender. This is our standard size and probably for 80% of your camping, the car campers and RV campers, you're gonna be using this one. If you're a backpacker and you're concerned about weight, we've made a smaller one for your single fires, maybe uh, 12 to 15 inch diameters. And a lot of times what the uh, backpack community has been doing is they'll use it as a lean-to, as a fire reflector, and they can build their fire underneath to keep it out of the wind and rain. And also, it's crazy the amount of heat you could get from a small fire reflecting in one direction. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Check out this solar shower. You just stand right here on the side of your vehicle and take a hot shower. The sun actually heats up this black paint. Looks like this water is about 79, 79 to 82 degrees. That's pretty cool. Then over here you got your pressure riser. So you plug that into a bicycle pump. See that bicycle pump right there? You can actually have pressurized hot water right there on your vehicle. That is cool. I even like this tent. It's a James Baroud pop-up tent. You 
you got the protection of the hard top, but still kind of like a compact nylon tent. That's cool, very compact. Sitting on top of Forerunner, old school Forerunner. I like it. So the Overland Expo is so big, you have this whole section of manufacturers, which will take a whole day for me to film. So now, I'm gonna go over here on this side, there's a whole other section here, and then there's even a whole other section of just motorcycles beyond the trees over there. This really cool Land Cruiser caught my eye. And I, I noticed that uh, you have a custom <laughs> roll cage slash rack system here. But it's not, it's not, not so much a roll cage, it's just a <laughs> it's, roof it's rack, a rack support. Yeah, yeah. Because if, if you roll this thing, this is not going to really protect oh, no. you. Right? Yeah. It's not, <laughs> that, the hardest of time holding on on uh -huh. the, some of those rough roads down there in uh -huh. Central America. I, did, I did know you do every this? welder in every little town in South oh, America. Oh, so you, you gradually had this welded up as you went. Well, uh -huh. You can see on the other side. Yeah. yeah. I can see some uh, galvanized pipe here. <laughs> so so this broke in Peru. Uh -huh. This was modified in... Oh, this here broke in Bolivia. Oh, that's this so was cool. modified in Nicaragua. That's so cool that you put the, uh, the names. That's awesome. I wish more guys would do that. Everywhere something happened, I was looking for a welder and yeah. you know, I just... As, as they were working, I was <laughs> writing it. What's up, guys? I'm at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona, and a couple guys stopped me because they saw me filming. Introduce yourself to the world. Gennady. Ed. Alexander. We're and, from uh, Fresno, California. They oh, drove yeah. all the way eight hours from Fresno, California, and they stopped me to say hi. And uh, This I, place is awesome, and because amazing, of the right? video you did last year, <laughs> We came here this year. So you so guys saw the video, you're like, that looks like fun. I want to exactly, go. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, awesome, awesome. Continue doing it. Go for it, man. Cool, you thanks. Guys subscribe. That's right, baby. Yes, subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> Follow him. Yes. All right. And if you come to the show, do like these guys. You can just go camping right outside. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Do you guys and have you know a what? pretty you don't sweet have, spot? You don't have to have oh, an yeah, off-road like vehicle. You no. just grab anything you have, buddy. He's driving yeah. through a Camry. Camry, baby! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was telling these guys earlier, I was like, you know, the vehicle that I was in last year, I rented it from Enterprise. It's just a van. Exactly. And we yeah. slept in the van. Yeah, That's so. all you need, though, to get it's out. That's right, man. man. It's all awesome. about experience, get it, getting out. Absolutely. So you can't come to the Overland Expo without seeing a couple of Unimogs. And there's a whole bunch of them in this side of the uh, Expo. Hey, this one. Big old full-size spare on the front. Portal axles like you normally would see. Look at this thing. Look at that roof rack. That roof rack is beefy. Tons of ladders. You got a ladder, you go to this step, and then another ladder, you go to the top. Pretty cool. And these things are military grade too, man. Look at all the batteries he's got. He's got one, two, three, four, five batteries on there. Onboard air, central tire inflation system. Man, this thing can push push cows out of the way, just like a, a train. <laughs> that is wild. He's got a he's got a canvas tent on, on the top of there too. I like how they got the flag poles up. That's awesome. So over here, another Unimog. And then uh, you got the unimogcenter.com. Look at that, he's got his spare underneath. Here's the, uh, there's the, uh, what you call it? Portal axles, this one's more stock, pretty much stock. But uh, he's got this one kitted out to be a little camper. Yeah, you can't go in there. But yeah, he's got like a bed and cooking stuff and all kinds of cool stuff in there. Very cool. And I spotted this Pinsgauer military vehicle. And this thing is gorgeous, man. Somebody set this thing up for uh, overlanding. And it's got tons of things on here that would take hours to just spot. But I'll see if I can point them out. Look at this cool little step here. He's got a custom rail for stepping on as well. Here's what this is famous for too. It's got portal axles. The gear reduction in the hub. It gives you a lot of ground clearance. And it's independent. This one's actually independent suspension. 
a lot of times you'll see the portal axles on a solid axle, but this one's independent, which is unique. Very rare. Look at this bash guard. It's like an armor thing here. Got a worn winch. LED upgrades here. It's like a custom bumper. LED lights. You got a full-on rack system. Some kind of custom rack system. Looks like it says search and rescue up there. And then you got this cool little uh, ladder set up so you can climb up to the top. Rado packs for your fuel, more storage on the side. They, they custom built all this cage system. It's like rhino lined as well. It's got rock rings, wheels, or bead locks. Keep those uh, wheels from deflating when you're going over rocks and stuff. got LEDs hidden all along the side so 360 degrees of LEDs it's got like a canvas top on here full-size spare in the back trash bag this is cool we got a little rack on top of the wheel with uh, LED lights here's a look at the rear suspension got a tow hitch this is awesome it looks pretty complicated in there <laughs> there's a lot of levers lots of levers and buttons lots of comms too look at all that comm gear in there pretty cool are you with way of life no look at this this probably wins the award for the most badass former military vehicle turned into an rv this if you don't know is a unimog and it's made by uh, Mercedes, as you can see by the crest right there. And under the hood, I was told um, it's running a six cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. It's got central tire inflation system because that's what the military uses. Bead locks. And these tires are tractor tires because uh, the owners, I guess, like to go in the, the sand and mud. So uh, they went with these tractor style tires. Probably not the best for going on the road, but um, they were telling me that they were taking this thing up to about 80 miles an hour and it did fairly well. So that must be a sight to see going down the road. It's got these humongous roll bars. I mean, that's gotta be the biggest diameter bars I've ever seen used on a vehicle. That is crazy. I guess if this thing flips on its side or even upside down for whatever reason, if you roll down a hill, you'd be, uh, you know, happy to know that the roll bar will protect you from getting crushed. That's pretty awesome. Look at this bumper. That is a mean bumper. It almost looks like a Batman would use a bumper like this. It's got like a wing style. Again, crazy, crazy thick diameter. That's probably four inches in diameter. Humongous winch. That is nice. And uh, the company that did a lot of the customization on this thing is called Couch, which is famous for working on Unimogs. It's got Rigid Industries LED lights. Here's the, here's the cool part about Unimogs. They run uh, portal axles, as you can see there. And if you don't know what portal axles are, those are the axles that have a gear reduction in the hub and then it drops down so you get way more clearance underneath especially where the uh, differential is so high clearance without without you know actually putting a, a lift on it there's your snorkel for going across rivers more led lights up there very cool big humongous diesel tank spare diesel tank full-size spare in the back this whole track this this right here this track right here this black part this whole thing slides down to the ground and then the tire itself slides down on the track as well so it's fairly easy to get down they say so here we go here's a view of the inside you could sit two four six people in here I think this is officially the only Ford Expedition I've seen at Overland Expo. And it's nice. It's got the CBI front bumper. 
Look at that carbon fiber grill. I don't know if it's real carbon fiber, probably is. Icon wheels, bead locks. Kinds of lights. I don't know who make those lights. And, uh, roof rack, aluminum boxes. Here's something I've never seen before. Look at this. It actually has steps. So you step on the wheel and you step here and it's got grip tape. And this is actually bolted onto the body. I like that. That's really cool. Let's see what's in the back. Here. And if you look at this bumper here, look, this bumper comes all the way back here. So it protects the, uh, the body. That's pretty cool. Full size spare, trash a bag, mat tracks, luminous gearbox. That's nice. This wins the award for the best Ford Expedition at the show because it's the only Ford Expedition at the show. <laughs> I got Brian here who's going to tell you about an awesome camper that I think is probably one of the best because of this right here. But we'll let you do all the talking. Okay. Go for We're it. the only solid wall pop-up. Been around since the 50s. Uh, cab over design. The doors fold in. These are all insulated panels. They fold in. And then the top comes all the way down and rides here. So we're dropping down about 22 inches all the way down for so travel. Low center, low center of gravity, no wind. Low wind, better mileage, safer drive. Nice. Uh, but when we're raised up, we have six foot three and a quarter interior. That and is awesome. And this is great for those windy days like today. Oh yeah, like today. Yeah, because those soft ones, man, they, they move around. Yeah, yeah. These are solid. Yep. Let's go take a look uh, on the inside. To lift this thing up, it's fairly just easy, like, right? Just push button. Let's see, Literally sir. just. Here, I'll lower it down. Yeah, go for it. Let's do a little demo. What you do first, drop the panels down. This is this big selling point right here. Now everybody's going to ask, what if it's raining? Well, it doesn't matter because there's rain gutters on the outside and the top is wider than the bottom. Ah. So it would literally have to be blown sideways past this or yeah. anything. It'll just go back here. Hit the button and raise it up a little bit. There's a button right there. That just takes the pressure off these. Oh, I see. You gotta take the pressure off. So let's, let's watch this go down. All right, all clear. Coming down. Look at that. So wait. Yeah, just gravity coming down. There's fluid control valves now, so I right now I have control over the front end. Um, I can drop it faster or slower, and then on the way up. So we have control over the rear. So that is if awesome. If they put a canoe rack or something on, there's no reason for it to ever get out of whack. Then we have a double, kind of like a Dutch door. So this is what gives us the full height in a pop-up. Yeah. When the top's up, we have a full-size entry door. All right, so check this out. I'm at the Patriot Campers booth at the Overland Expo. That's cool. I mean, it's got everything. I mean, you just hook this up to your vehicle and your vehicle doesn't have to have anything. Everything is all contained in the, in the trailer. But look at this. I mean, it's got a, a folding tent, like rooftop tent kind of style on the top of the trailer. And then it has like a little uh, lanai area. And then off to the side here is another portion of the tent where two more people can sleep. And it has a ladder. It actually has a ladder that you can walk up and get inside the tent here. There's more storage in here. Hot water system. More storage. There's your grill. There's your outdoor shower. There's your cooler. There's your sink. All this is just all comes up like a transformer. There's another cooktop over there. awning system is actually on a jack system so you can actually push this whole thing up and the awning goes all the way around man look at that this thing goes all the way around this entire thing more storage in here let's pull out drawers full-size spare and here's another look inside you fit two people over there two people over there Man, this is crazy. This is one serious tent. I guess if you're um, gonna do tent camping, this is like pretty amazing for tent camping. Check out this beautiful beast right here. 
I got Dean who's gonna tell you all about it. Go for it, man. All right, so this is our 917. It used to be a fire truck. We totally took the fire truck tanker off, threw a rack up on there. Now it's got a cube on there. It's all aluminum. Everything's custom in-house. It's all based out of Grass Valley, California. Uh, 80 gallon water tank, fresh water. That's 80 20. gallons, that's yeah. a lot of yeah. water, man. You can only go so far, you just have yeah. no water, right? That's I mean, the only thing holding you back, really, right? right? Once is you water. run out of water, you can't go no more. You gotta go back home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before we move to the back, so wait, this is a Mercedes running what, a diesel engine yes, in there? Yes, four cylinder diesel. Four cylinder diesel, and then. Stick shift. Oh, okay, stick yeah. shift. Obviously, four wheel drive, yes, right? Definitely four wheel Solid drive. Solid axles, winch. Uh, Let's <laughs> take a look on the inside. All in house fabricated stairs. All the aluminum stairs and whatnot. What's this floor? Stuff. That's nice. What is that? This is a, la a laminate teak. It's, a, it's teak. not teak, but oh. it's supposed to be a look like a teak. Yeah. So the boats use the, Yeah, I was just going to say, it almost feels like you're in a boat. Look, That's cool. All the wood in here is mahogany antique. Uh -huh. All mahogany trim, teak trim. Marine mm. grade panel. Everything we use is all anchor marine grade. Um, I noticed that's a trend now with a lot of RVs. It's very much like a boat. Yeah. Yes, it is. Very cool. Lots of space, man. Look how big this table so, is. So, yeah, you can fit six people here. This bed, this table actually drops down, and then you pull the side cushions, and it becomes a bed. Same size bed as that. So, you can fit two here, and then two people over there as well. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Comfortably, too. I mean, yeah. you're not, it doesn't feel real packed. All our windows are double pane. Nice big sink, too. It's like almost like a normal sink, really. Yeah. Hands free, mm -hmm. water. Oh, look at that. Hands free. Nice. So when you're doing chicken, <laughs> you don't <laughs> yeah. want to touch the faucet and whatnot. Exactly. You know? Well, Boston cooktop. We've got under the bed storage. Oh, tons of storage. You've got more storage below you. Oh, wow. He's actually lift up. Look at that. Just like the Millennium Falcon. Just like <laughs> you're hiding people <laughs> underneath <laughs> the floor. Yeah. I see a skylight there. Yes. Now, can you actually go out that yes, skylight? You can. You, uh, Crank that up and it, it opens that way and then you can walk up on top of the roof. Same so it's, way it's strong like, enough for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. same same thing with these guys. I like to see right over there. You can climb out on, on the roof. Oh, and there's probably solar panels up there, right? Yes, there are. There's solar panels up on the roof, oh, okay. just like on those. And then you got your two panels. Cool. Every these conventional things. microwave oven, of course. Norco fridge. Fridge? Wait, what is this then? It's freezer. Oh, that's the freezer. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Full. That's it's a, a big one. I didn't realize right? it was a freezer because it's yeah. so big. I'm used to seeing like half that size yeah. for a freezer. Uh, cool. Full, full shower. Oh, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's 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 the the difference between camping and glamping right here. That is true. Get up and go. I gotta right say, here. the ladies love being able to have their own <laughs> bathroom and yeah. not have to shower. And a shower outside. too. Yeah, so. yeah. That is awesome. So here is what the Conquer trailer looks like when it's all packed up. Just like any other trailer you would pull behind a truck or SUV. Fairly compact. But when you open this thing up, it is humongous. And this is a trailer, but this is not like any trailer you've probably ever seen. This thing is like a house. I mean, it has everything. And you could actually sleep five people in here you got look at that you got room for a dining room and you can this is just amazing you got a sink and you got look at that you got cups and spoons and everything you got stored for absolutely everything just like a house this is probably about the size of my condo i bought <laughs> 10 years ago <laughs> there's your freezer and it's fully packed too ready for the weekend and look at that you still have more storage over here tons and tons and tons of storage this is fantastic. Your wet bar. And a wet bar too. So yeah, you gotta have that. And then can I go in there too? Yep. Check it. Mm -hmm. So here's the sleeping quarters. You gotta step up here. Look at that. This is cavernous. You got two over here that can sleep. And then over here, you can put I wait, I think you can put three over here, right? And then yep. two over here. Three down here and two on top. Oh, three there. down here and then two over here. Okay. Depending how cozy you are, either three <laughs> or three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is awesome. If for a family, this is perfect. You can put mom and dad and three kids in here. This is awesome. And there's a looks like a table too, right? There's a table there. So you can still socialize in here too. And then here's all your power systems. It's cool. You got a fan. Tons of headroom. Look at this. I'm five nine-ish, five ten, and I got tons of headroom. Look at that. You got breezes coming through here. What material is this uh, on here? Military grade uh, canvas. It's like ripstop canvas. It's really thick. I like how it blocks the sunlight out. That's great. That is very cool. And then you can exit on this side as well. And that side is a shower. 
Oh, look at that. There's still more tent going on over here. So this is where you do your cleanup. So if you're at the beach or whatever, you want to get cleaned up, you can just shower out here. If you have a porta potty, you can stick it in the corner. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Put the porta potty over here. You don't have to walk all the way down to the uh, porta potties. You just have your setup right here in the tent. Just walk right out here. Boom, good to go. Check this out. This caught my eye. Jeremy here. Hey. Introduce yourself to the world. I'm Jeremy with Earth Cruiser USA. And he's gonna he's gonna show us all about their stuff. We're gonna talk about this one, then fly over to other ones as well. But we're gonna, we're gonna start here. What is this? So basically, this is our GZL 300. This was a previous model that was developed for a European market. Uh, our current interior does not look like this, but the exterior, the physical shape, size, weight, it only weighs about 700 pounds, is what we're currently offering to to the U.S. market. Let's let's kind of take a step back and show the guys who don't know what we're looking at. This is not your normal camper this, something's going on here that's different so, right right so this is a, a foam cord fiberglass shell uh, instead of your atypical RV construction it's built much more like a boat so that's cool you have a foam, you have a fiberglass shell and a foam core and then an internal fiberglass shell so very it's strong, pretty much very one light. piece right yes and ours weighs about 700 pounds so, so we were talking light. off camera before because it's so light you don't really have to mess with your suspension too much right? very 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 simple mods maybe a sway bar some shocks and maybe able to add a leaf nice uh, on the very light model this the tacoma the gzl 300 we do recommend at least an add a leaf mm -hmm. or a helper spring uh something like our gzl 400 stock suspension seems to handle just fine so on this particular one, the bed slides in and out, everything flips up out of that way. You've got storage in a few different compartments, everything sits here, you've got your fridge. Uh, this is your shower bay. There's a track, oh, not yeah. currently in it, but a track with a shower here. So, and then you've got your water, this is your that propane That is unbelievable attachment. that you actually have a shower mm -hmm. in this so, little tiny thing. Your little, so this is your, your shower pocket. Mm -hmm. This would be your slide out portable toilet. So it's. Nice. All the amenities of a full-size truck, of a full-size camper, but in something, if you are a Tacoma owner, or Frontier yeah. owner, or Colorado, or whatever, yeah. uh, all the amenities at home in a very, very, very small, lightweight package. I, I love it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a minimalist, but everything you still want. And yeah. it's very comfortable compared to, so I rooftop tent camp quite a bit. Yeah. And that's fantastic, but I have to get in and out of my vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> down the ladder, trying not to fall on your face. Yeah. Uh, you know, and there's nothing in the tent. Yeah. It's sleeping bags, your gear, a few different things, maybe a propane heater or mm -hmm. something like that. This is all built in. All so built wake up in. in the middle of the night, you're kind of thirsty, pop your fridge open, grab a beer, you know, uh, whatever you need. They're running 200 watts of solar. Wow. So have one tent power. Nice. Uh, so you can run power to So the only thing really uh, holding you back is cooking, but I guess you could put a small burner right here, right? Wait, wait till you see what's in there. Oh, okay. So do me a favor and stand up and show the guys how tall this is. How tall are you? I'm uh, 5'11". So you're 5'11", and you still got room to go. There's, Tons of room. There's not much to and you could fit mom and dad up there and the kids down here. Exactly. Oh, and by the way, this thing is for sale. If you want to buy, it's just the camper just, part. Just this particular model is yeah. for yeah, This specific one is for sale. Look at that, 26999 And like you said, you just get a couple friends and lift this whole thing up. <laughs> so check this one out. This is a Global Expeditions Vehicle International Crew Cab. And this thing is just like all their other humongous beasts of vehicles. Built like tanks. Look at that bumper. That is nuts. Here's their uh, monocoque design RV camper. Let's take a look inside and see. Oh, you can't go all the way in, but you can kind of look around, kind of peek around inside. Oh, okay, awesome, thank you. Okay, so you got tons of cabinet space here. And here's your... It's got a washer dryer and a dishwasher. Oh, it does, right here in the back? This is the washer dryer. Go ahead and give me the full tour then, since I got you. Look at that, washer and dryer. It's inside. a combi, and nice. And normally I wouldn't be a combi guy, but this, the technology's caught up, so it works. It just takes forever, you yeah. know. To do a load of laundry and get them dry is probably an hour <laughs> and a half. Hey, but at least you're getting it done, right? Yeah, yeah that's awesome. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> and the way you keep a woman happy on, in, like on a boat or here, mm -hmm. besides the obvious and alcohol, uh -huh. is uh, you give her a dishwasher. Oh, get out of here. So that she that. doesn't feel like a slave. Oh, my wife would love this. I dirty them and she cleans them and that's just not fair. <laughs> so this is... I've never seen a dishwasher right. in one of these before. That's awesome. 
That is cool. And then you obviously got a nice big TV there, sink, stove. Oh yeah. Here's your. Uh, I'm I'm assuming you have a More refrigerator. Sure. Yeah, and freezer. And freezer. Nice. You have floor radiant heat. Of oh wow! So the, the when you get up to pee, your feet are nice and happy. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. And then you got a full size bathroom in there with a shower, yeah, right? That's the whole the Look whole deal. Oh yes, definitely. That's nice. Then you can actually sit. You can actually sit two people here if you wanted to. You can, to. and this makes it to a bed. That's a queen uh, size. So up you got there. you can sit the kids here, yeah. and then you got room for mom and dad up there. And there's lockers up there. Tons of space. After being in the Marine Corps 22 years, I'm not camping out anymore. Yeah, you've done I mean, your time love, in the dirt. I love, I love yeah. snakes and scorpions. They just need to stay in this sleeping <laughs> bag and not mine anymore. You when, you, when you were when you were 19, yeah. that was fun. That was all yeah. cool, but you, you did your time. That's nice. Check out this Toyota Tacoma. This thing is nice, man. So this thing is outfitted with all kinds of cool stuff for living off the grid. ARB bumper, a winch, very cool. But here's the beautiful part about this thing. So this is a four wheel camper pop top camper. It's designed for a flatbed and a company called Norweld did the flatbed portion. So you have all these compartments on the bottom fits perfectly on this flatbed which is really nice every little space that you could possibly make a compartment they have a spot for it he already said I can go in here and film so let's go inside you got to watch your head because it's kind of a low entry so inside here this is nice man look at this you got a little table you can chill out right here look at that a little table to sit down, have your breakfast, drink some hot cocoa with the wife right there. And then the sides are the soft, the soft material. You can open the windows up. You can even open this up if you want to let air through and there's a screen, but they have it sealed up. And then you can put this up to block the light. LED lights, you got an electric fan. This is nice. You got a toilet right there if you got to go potty in the night this is the cool thing about these campers you don't have to get out you have to use the bathroom you can just wake up and go right here you don't have to go all the way to a porta potty at the campsite get your fridge cooktop sink storage and then look at this bed got a full bed there for two people that's nice very very nice I like this here's a beautiful Tacoma look at that that is nice. Oops, sorry. I like how they have that mini rack on the front for their uh, aluminum boxes. And then they have their new uh, adventure trailer flip pack kind of deal where it flips to the back. This is probably the, uh, the maxed out version. Yeah, that's cool. They got the little desk right there. You could sleep a person there and two people here. It's cool, man. Love it. That thing is big, too. And then here's a tundra. You don't see a whole lot of tundras at this show. But here's one right here. That thing is huge. Got an easy antenna up top. Got the mat tracks. I'm torn. I don't know if I want a Tacoma or a tundra. They're both awesome. Check out this uh, awning, man. This thing flips all the way around. That's really cool. I like that. These tents caught my eye, and I'm going to let the... Are you the owner? I'm, you're the owner. There you go. Hey, Introduce I'm, yourself. I'm Kevin at Red Vest Gear. What we've got here is we've got these amazing original motorcycle tents. Uh, so the people that travel around the world on motorcycles, this is what we primarily designed this for. So you can actually bring a full adventure bike and bring them inside. It's like a garage. It's like garage. a garage, garage for the tent bike. itself there. So top quality, high-end poles and materials. And these tents are designed to take a, a beating around the world there. So we've got the full-size one. You can put you know, two looking, people and all the gear inside this. Um, here we go. This is my old Dakar rally bike. This one is here. Um, nice. But you know, if you don't sit this in, in, in the bike in here, you can come and sit two, three, four, five people inside here. Mm -hmm. And then there's room in the back here uh, for, you know. That's a big space. That's, that's big. A full a queen very... size bed will fit inside there. Now, this thing will pack 
into a decent size and put on the back of the bike. This thing caught my eye because it is like a one-off custom GMC Top Kick 5500, but not your normal Top Kick. This has a van kind of like built into it. There's a van in it, like a, a high top van built into this thing. Big old diesel tanks, extended diesel tanks there. Four wheel drive, obviously. Everything's been uh, rhino lined uh, pretty much from the four foot level. Humongous bumper. Solid axles. Look at that beast. That is a beast, man. That is so cool. This is probably the, one of the coolest vehicles here. I love it. Man, that is cool. You can see the van portion here where they, they kind of grafted a van to the top of this top kick. Oh, it's got a ladder on this side as well. It looks like you can put a dually on here. They got dually fenders. But they got singles on here. Look at this bumper. This is like the, one of the biggest bumpers I'd ever seen. <laughs> That's huge. It's like, what is that, like two feet out? It's like a boat. You got steps. You got your generator. Full size spare. Hitch with the rear backup camera. That is nice. And they were saying that this thing uh, is for sale. Believe it or not, this thing is actually for sale. There, you can see the uh, GMC van back doors back there. That kind of gives it away. But yeah, if you want to buy this thing, um, he invested about $60,000 putting that van on top of the top kick and then all the gear that they, they, they put on here. Uh, so he's selling it for the price that he paid for the uh, aftermarket stuff. So that's a deal of the century. You're kind of getting the vehicle for free and just getting all the uh, upgrades. 60000 bucks. That's pretty cool. If you want to buy it, contact the folks over at uh, Global X and uh, they'll get you in contact with the guy who's selling it. Man. I'm telling you, if I had $60,000 in my pocket right now, I would buy this thing because that thing is a rolling billboard for the Mix Flip channel, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, you can camp in it, you can carry all your gear in it, it's a bug out vehicle, it's a mobile office, it's everything, man. I could actually use this thing to go to all kinds of events. I'd have to get a sponsor for my gas though because this thing probably sucks down gas like crazy. So when you come to the Overland Expo, one of the cool things is, is you see a bunch of cool vehicles, four-wheel drive vehicles and things like that, but they also have motorcycles. Tons and tons and tons of motorcycles. So let's go ahead and take a look at the motorcycles at the Overland Expo. I'm at the Euro slash Caliber Creations booth. And I got Mark here, who's gonna tell you all about what they have here. Go for it, man. Euro is a Russian motorcycle. They're a similar clone to the BMW. Most that we sell are two-wheel drive. There is a drive shaft that goes from the final drive over to the sidecar, 
that is activated by a lever and has a heel and toe shifter for going in and out of reverse. It's nice. a four speed manual, which again is heel and toe, one down, three up with the heel. They all come with a leaning link front end. We build a skin plate for the sidecar. We also build a step plate nice. here. This is the skin plate for the motorcycle. Oh, nice. Everything is aluminum, everything is Healy Art. This is actually a lot of work. To everything goes into is this. CNC. We use the Warren winch. This is a 2500S. We have this one wired in. Now, our winch mount is designed so you can unbolt it and you can move the winch from the front to the rear. Maybe I can go for a ride, right? Absolutely. Let's go. Sweet. All right, so now we learned all about the Ural and Caliber Creations. We are going to go for a ride. This is my first time ever riding in a sidecar. See, you can see that drive shaft working back there. Two-wheel drive. You said it's four speed. One down, three up. Just like uh, most common motorcycles. I even got a windshield, look at that. Here we go, going in the dirt. Alright guys, so that was the Overland Expo, very cool show. This is by far one of uh, the most fun shows to film. I mean, just amazing vehicles, really, really cool vehicles and awesome stories from the people you meet there that do these um, long, you know, expedition type trips and uh, just meeting all the people that bumped into me. A lot of guys actually stopped me to say hi because they recognized me from the videos. A couple guys were like, hey, we came to the Overland Expo because uh, we saw your videos from last year. So a uh, big shout out to all the folks that stopped me and said hi. I really appreciate you guys. It was really cool meeting all you guys. Uh, my only real regret is that I didn't get to bring my own family this year, but um, I'll see if I can get a camper or a trailer or some kind of expedition vehicle and I'll bring my family next year. So uh, yeah, um, hit that like button to support my channel. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see what videos are coming next. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the Overland Expo. Which vehicle was your favorite vehicle? Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one.